my name is Matthew and I'm 24 years old. Um, I entered Trinity in 2013, July. Then I went to Melbourne University. I did my Bachelor's of Science in Civil Systems and then I went straight to um, Master's in Melbourne University doing Civil as well. So I graduated last December 2019 and I've moved back to, to the Philippines and I actually felt a bit homesick when I got back home. I missed the Melbourne lifestyle. I spent six years in Melbourne so I made a lot of friends in Melbourne that I don't think I'll be seeing much anymore since I'm back in the Philippines. So Trinity for me was really fun and I found it really helpful as well. Uh, firstly with academics, um, the, my education in the Philippines wasn't as advanced. So I took up subjects like physics and math one. And it really helped me transition from Philippines to uh, Melbourne University. And my tutors and lecturers in Trinity were actually very helpful as well. They, helped, they made sure that I was always um, doing my work make sure I, I caught up with my class and everything. So, hi, my name is Stephanie. Um, I was in Trinity in July, May plus 2016. And then I went to University of Melbourne in July 2017. And I'm currently on my last semester of university undergrad, um, doing Bachelor of Design. Okay, so Trinity for me was pretty helpful because just what Matthew mentioned earlier, um, the education system in the Philippines is pretty different from the education system here. So having Trinity as sort of like a, like a bridging program for me really helped me know the standards, like know the Australian standards and know the University of Melbourne standards um, of like education. Um, the most helpful, helpful thing for me with Trinity and um, subsequently transitioning to University of Melbourne is having my brother and my older sister already having done Trinity before me. They really did help me um, adjust properly, like just not just in Trinity, not just with my studies, but also like independent, being independent, like learning how to do my own chores and like how, learning how to like use a transport system and just everything like life in general, like they really did help me with that. I have Trinity to thank for because they really did help me adjust and they helped me um, know how to work around like learning and like with my assessments and stuff. So like you know hopefully things go well so yeah now I'm really excited to graduate and like go back for masters. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the youngest among all my siblings so I'm the last one to experience Trinity. Um, my siblings were a really big influence as to why I studied here. I heard all of the opportunities and all of the things that all of the like the experiences they had here and I was really keen and excited in experiencing those as well. So I'm currently studying in Trinity in the August main program and um, just like what all my siblings said, it's a really nice way to adjust not just academically, but also culturally. Uh, one thing I really like here is, although it's they're expected to like students are expected to study independently, but at the same time, the teachers are always available to help you anytime that you have troubles or you need some extra like advice. Um, I really like how the teachers are always open to helping you, or may it be with your academics or maybe just being there for you like even mentally or um, emotionally so that's really helpful and uh, they also have very interesting classes here like drama which helps you be more confident in yourself and also like koi which helps you really think critically which I really like and I think the best part with studying here in Australia in general is you're able to meet people from all walks of life and so the friends that you make, as long as you keep staying open-minded, you'll really meet really great people that um, even if you've only known each other for a few months, you feel like you've known for years. I need to like all the Filipinos who are um, thinking about studying here, I think some tips is to always stay open-minded. Try to meet as much people as you can and 
also um, explore Melbourne and really like as much as you can try to live independently like try new things because that in that sense you're able to like grow as a person through each experience that you go through for me I think to just um, the most important thing is to enjoy your stay in Melbourne um, it is gonna be difficult in the sense that you really have to grow up really fast and you have to be you have to mature really fast but also don't forget to always have fun because then then you won't like your stay here yeah I think I think a lot of Filipinos are capable to adjust academically um, they're smart enough to study what needs to be studied I think it's more of learning how to be more independent um, don't be scared to step out of your comfort zone because yeah, I feel like a lot of Filipinos are scared to move to Melbourne just because they'll be away from their families or friends, high school friends. So I think in that sense, before you leave Philippines, you have to, you have to be mentally prepared of that um, a, a big load of responsibilities and independence. It's really fun. Melbourne's a really fun city to be in. Everything's very accessible. So you learn new things about yeah. yourself while while you're while you're here. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of self growth.